Hi, my name is Newell Davis with World Composting, and it's been six days since we started the ground food versus non-ground food challenge here. So I gave it six days because I wanted to try to give it the best chance to really have all the food disappear in these bins. So we're going to refeed them now on the opposite side of the bins, and we're going to try and see something different. Last time we used bananas, this time we're going to use asparagus and see if it goes in the same amount of time. We have a little bit more this time, but not too much more food. So let's go to the bins, take a look, and see how they're doing. All right, here are our bins. This is the full one. This is the ground one. I have the labels in front. So I fed them last time on the opposite side. I haven't really opened these at all since I've started this, but I fed them on this side over here away from the label last time. So let's go and take a look at this one. So moisture content, it's a little bit moist, but not too bad. Couple worms on the top, some small ones here. So this is the one that was full. So over here, we should see, to start to see some worms, and we do. There's still banana peels in here. Look at this, you can see the full peels in here. All right. You can see they all put a lot of peels. Lots of worms in them, but there are a lot of peels in here. And as you can see, here we go. Here's a mass of worms right there. So there's a lot of worms, but there are still a lot of peels left. So we're going to bury this again. As I said, I haven't disturbed this really. And then I'm just going to check on this side. There's still a lot of worms over here even, surprisingly, in this area. I didn't expect that. I thought they would have all migrated over, but there's still some here. So there might be some food in here in this area with the, the choir maybe that they're eating. So, all right, we, we went down to the bottom here. Now, for consistency, here's my scale. Turn it on. It shows zero pounds. Put the food on, and it shows one pound, 2.4 ounces. This is all asparagus. It's been broken up a little bit, but not too much. Basically, I just kind of chopped it in half. So we're going to dump that in, and we're going to cover this up as well. Oh, let's try not to un uncover the bananas. So food was still there. I'm not measuring how much food is there, but it's been six days. I figured a good portion of it would be gone, so we're going to try to bury this as best we can here. That was a lot of uh, asparagus there. So now we're going to cover this one back up, and this time we fed on the side with the label. So we're going to come back again in a few days and see how this is. Let me just make sure that this stuff is still buried. Now, let's cover this back up. And just so you can see here, I'm going to move the scale over to this one. Still says zero. Okay. And just for consistency's sake, one, oh, this one says 1.25. Well, you know, maybe this isn't level right here. Maybe let's put it back over here for a second here. Well, now it's registering an extra pound. All right, hold on here. Let me reset this. One point two four. There we go. I was going to say I measured them before on a flatter surface. So, so I'm going to move that off to the side. We're going to put this over here. We're going to open this one up now. Again, a little bit of moisture content on the area where the food was. So we're going to kind of dig in here and just check and see what's left. Oh, a whole mass of worms. They all migrated over here to the food. I am, so it's all, it almost feels just like, like a big ball of worms. Look at this. I mean, this is almost uh, sorted. Uh, it definitely feels like there's a lot of castings in here. Um, this all feels very worked through already. So that tells you the difference here between using ground versus unground food. I mean, it's just, you can tell all the worms just migrated right over here, right in, and they just went to town on it. So we're going to cover that back up. It looks like all the food is gone, really. Let's just dig over here and see if there's any worms in here. There's a few that are still over here on this side. So what we're going to do now, this is different now, because the bananas are something that they really like. So now we're going to try frozen asparagus here. So let me make sure I get all this stuff out. All right, so there we go. Got it all out of my gloves too. There we go. Cover this up and we're going to give it again about the same amount of time, probably another six days and see if they go through it. As I said, this is there's more food in there this time than there was last time. I have a little bit left on my glove here trying to get it off. 
there we go so we'll let this sit for another six days and we'll see and this time as I said we fed on the side that has these labels on the front so we're gonna check the label side and then we'll feed this side next time but we're gonna this one we'll have to see if, it, if the banana peels are even gone or not like I don't know if they will be still and they added more food and they added the same amount so we, we're seeing how much faster they can go through this ground material than this material that's not ground. So that's our six day update on our bin. We'll come back in another six days hopefully and check this out again. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.